fucking make some noise! channel, fucking Facebook and all that shit and all that fucking, it's about to get to my next battle. Yeah. Fucking, I'm gonna let fucking Jack and Richie sometime fuck it up already. First off, shout out to Richmond Taxis and Smooth Motion Pictures. And on the right, get slit and co-host, make some noise for Chapman! Yeah. 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 On the left! Yeah. On the left! Yeah. Stunning! Face of battle against Leon, make an impression and address all of these faces so everybody who came today won't forget what my name is. So, people in the front to everybody in the back, whether you appreciate Bowers Battle Rap or you just yet follow up. Listen when I say this because I think it's a fact that choppers, you really shouldn't cause because you're absolutely crap. <laughs> and you're queer as fuck. You say I wish you queer, I would disappear because nobody wants to hear the verbal diarrhea that spouts from your trachea. <laughs> oh, shit. So, in clubs, don't be surprised if girls will use you for your drinks. Because they can't stand the dribble that you spit. In fact, that's why I make sure I'm exit quick. In fact, I bet they'd rather choke on a million dicks, hang themselves or slit the wrists. In fact, no, I bet they'd rather take a trip to the cliffs rather than go on a date with you, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've known you five minutes and I hate you more than the wanted GLS all rolled into one direction. I, I hate you more than Chris Brown and Justin Bieber, even your own man thinks you're a tool. I'm a fucking believer. <laughs> Fuck you. Your dad and your mom, she's a slag. And if you don't believe me, then just ask the lads. Now I'm a co-host to get slated, so I've got the battle to win. Fucking hell, look at the size of your chin! <laughs> Jesus! You need to warn people about that thing, man. <laughs> now as well as having to deal with that, Stoney is also a rave MC. What an absolute twat. Wow. Spitting his vapors off his box, <laughs> tucking his trackers into his socks. Who the fuck do you think you are? Buzzbox. <laughs> You never use a bucket, never use a pipe, smoke a fucking lot for your BMX bike. <laughs> <laughs> when you were last at the bar, I'm sure you've overheard you say, I'm a gangster. Ha -ha. <laughs> <laughs> Your rave MC says is not going to work. I mean, you can try and make some tracks to publish some records, but with those vocal dregs, the only time you'll ever see study on a shelf is extra loaf of bread in your local Greg's. <laughs> but at least you'll always have one record published, which will never get thrown again. Your Guinness World Record for the world's biggest chin! <laughs> You're so skinny and pale, you look like Mo Farah dipped in milk. <laughs> <laughs> the only difference is you can't do the Mo bot. In fact, it's more like a U bot instead, because your arms get blocked by that big fucking chin on your head. <laughs> <laughs> so, study. As these rounds unfold, I don't want you to think that you've got rap battle impunity just because you look anorexic in puny tees. I mean, how do you expect to win when there's even an acronym in your name to address that simply taking on this twat is effortless? <laughs> this trap man chaps trap man. He talks more rubbish than the scrap man. Fuck this battle man. Fuck this battle rap, I wanna knock you on your, I wanna knock you out like when Hatton took on Batman. But no, I'm not that fighting type of guy, and here's the reason why. I'm not big, I'm not hard, and that's why I chose balls. I've got nine fucking score man, you see these I know that's not exactly something to shout about. It's not exactly a good thing. But you used to be fat and you wanted to be thin, so you hit the fucking bubble guy and then joined the kid. <laughs> Leave that to Big Jack and go back to what you're gonna Paving on he's that look like she's from the back. And if there's anybody in here that doesn't understand that, go on his Facebook and just have a look. He was on the dance floor at dusk and I got told he touched them up. <laughs> Speaking of touching up, isn't that what happened to you when you were growing up? I mean, your dad was fingering your bum instead of fingering your mum. <laughs> Proper vile, proper vile, beautiful vile. Fucking women. Now that just wasn't his style. He would walk mile after mile in search of a four-year-old smile. <laughs> time, after, time after time, he would commit child crime until one day he thought, "I've got it. Why rape other people's kids when I can rape mine?" <laughs> Why you 
bother giving your pubes a trimming when you are never, ever going to have sex with women. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't help when you're ugly, you've got no mates and you sit alone and cry. If you had a purple hat, you would be Meg Griffin or Family Guy. <laughs> I mean, this guy takes premature ejaculation to whole new levels. The last time you saw a lass licking the inside of a cream egg, thought you got a nosebleed and came down his own leg. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're not gonna get any, but guess who is? Your mum! In fact, I was shagging on the toilets before the event you should have heard her. Screaming like she was being fucked by a horse. Tesco Burger. <laughs> Screaming in the morning, her prim was fluffing. I gave her 5 out of 10 for the sex, but I'm afraid in Headworth, she gave me Headworth nothing. Ooh. Like, ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Listen, I didn't know this kid. So I had to go online to find out a thing or two. But the best thing I found online was had to be his mum. So Julie Wood, this one goes out to you. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. But well, when I went online, I see April here, and then I see the profile picture hugging that tree. <laughs> Sorry, Scott, I've seen the lot, every status to every picture, and I've even seen her Twitter. But that's that sensitive bit between her twat and shitter. <laughs> Sorry Scott, I've used that word like a club, I've fucking smashed that 18 times. The balls against the head, so she was staggering around, you would think she had 18 bottles of wine. Now speaking of wine, if you want to get her on all fours, just buy her Echo Falls. Her lips are really juicy like that trap from Biggie Smalls, and when she sucks me cock, she resembles a hungry hippo, because she fucking loves the balls. <laughs> so, 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 when she sits back, chair legs crack, all her holes clap, and it causes earthquakes in a rock. <laughs> Nah, 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 I'm sorry, I'll take all that back. Sorry, Julie, this isn't a personal attack. This is just battle rap, something I've wrote for the crumb laugh at. So I'll see you on Monday at Morrison's Cup. <laughs> You lie there and cry night on night. I'd say chin up here, but that thing's so big you might smash that light. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I wish you, uh, I bet you wish your drab life was a fairy tale, but even those things can leave your ego fairly frail. For example, if this guy was Pinocchio, he'd be called Chinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by the size of that thing, your whole fucking life would be a lie. <laughs> if you were Cinderella, you'd be Cinderella, but there wouldn't be a prince trying to find you with a glass shoe because, well, look at the fucking state of you. <laughs> if you were one of the three little pigs and you said to the fox, not by the hairs on my chinny chin, chinny tip, or look at the size of that thing and go fuck this, then I'm never gonna get in. <laughs> <laughs> So see, sorry, no fairy tales here, mate. You're in Hedworth Hall getting hated. This is your first battle, time stopped and dated. Nice try, mate, but get the fuck off, get slated.